this is a short little tutorial on how to create a spybotic some uh, what's it called uh, spybotic uh, program that makes it follow your controller. So first of all, you're going to go to uh, you're going to make sure everything is right, and uh, that now you're going to go and uh, to the create a mission place. It's loading. Now you're going to go to the advanced mission zone and select to create a regular mission. I already have a created mission of this. So I'm just going to um, click on that. So that's loading. So this is the program, it's ready. And uh, now we're gonna go to to the settings, to the mission settings place. And there we're going to set some stuff. So here we're going to leave almost everything be. Leave everything be, don't touch anything. But you're going to make sure that what the spy bot is displaying is radar. And make sure there's only one spy bot on the whole mission. Now you're going to go to the download area. Now you're going to select to uh, change your SpyBot settings. You're going to make sure that you have the green controller as the main uh, as the main thing on the top. The green controller makes sure it's uh, make sure that the only controller that's going to be controlling it is the controller that's linked to the spy bot and you're going to make sure that all the that all the chips inside uh, your spy bot in all the proximity zones is going to be a follow chip the one that makes it follow the target which is your remote you're going to go to your remote settings right now And uh, you're going to select a special scan thing that makes the spy bot move around when you press the red button. So you just find that in here. Here's how it looks. Please note that you must have your controller set to action mode, the far right uh, corner of your remote selection thingy. Uh, that's where um, your selection tab, sorry. Because when on action mode it shall follow your remote and the red button will work at action mode too. So your spy bot is all ready and you're going to send the information to your spy bot. I'm going to have a video right after this showing you how the um, spy bot actually looks following following the thing the remote so that's it thanks for watching the tutorial and uh, let's watch the video of the spy bot uh, following the remote okay and da -da 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 -da. that's all folks Here's the video of how uh, the spy bot, um, how the spy bot uh, is actually in real life. So watch. So here I've put the spy bot in front of the camera, 
and I'll be using the remote. It's going to be following the remote, this spy bar. Please note that I'm not pressing any buttons at all, except when I press the red button to, um, to make it do the scan thing. Now look, see how it is following the remote? But sometimes, uh, its maneuverability is a bit, um, bad. Of course, this is, isn't state-of-the-art technology, so it isn't very good at following, but still. Watch as it, um, oh no, I'm blocking the camera. That's not good. Anyway, look, it's following the remote. I'm not pressing any buttons at all. Look at that. I have now nice pants, don't you think? Yeah, I think too. Now, uh, as you can see, the spy bot is following me again. Wow. And uh, sometimes, if uh, if the spy bot can't see my remote, like now, I can press the scan button. It'll do this, and it might see my remote, and then will be able to follow me. The scan button is the red button, like I told you in the tutorial. So now it's detected my remote, but it's kind of going the wrong way still. Hey, hope you liked my uh, video with a robot and the tutorial, and uh, that's all, folks!